Good morning children. Let us continue the lesson caught by his knees with section 4. In this section, Hubert, who pretended to be a traveling magician, tiptoed to the closet, followed by the whole troop of members of the family. He placed a stool and poured all the snuff from this box along the upper edge of the door into the interior of the closet. Everyone was surprised by this act of Hubert. After one or two minutes had elapsed, a suppressed sneeze had come from the inside closet. Sir Simon found it very interesting. Hubert gently bolted the closet door and asked for more snuff. Two or three gentlemen passed their boxes and the contents were blown into the closet. Another sneeze, not quite well suppressed, as the first one was heard. Then another. And after a while, there arose a perfect storm of sneezes, as promised by Hubert. Sir Simon was elated and appreciated Hubert for his excellence in this act. Hubert asked for more snuff. A large jar of snuff was handed over to Hubert this time, who blew the snuff into the closet. The tumult of sneeze became extraordinary to listen to. There was no cessation. It was like a wind, rain and sea battling in a hurricane. Sir Simon after much observation, exclaimed, I believe there are men inside. There are, Hubert replied. They came to rob the house, and they are the same who stole my horse, said Hubert. The thieves pleaded for mercy from inside. Hubert instantly asked about his horse. He was informed by the thieves that his horse was tied to a tree in the hollow behind Shod's gibbet. All the guests perceived that it was not a spot but a serious issue. Guns and sticks were obtained. All the men servants were called and arranged in a position on the defence. But the three robbers, far from attacking them, were found crouching in the corner, gasping for breath. They made no resistance and after being tied up, were placed in an outhouse till the morning. Hubert now gave the remainder of the story to the assembled company and profusely thanked for the services he had rendered. He was invited to stay for the night and was offered the best bedroom. But Hubert declined, being anxious to find his horse Jerry. When they reached the mentioned spot, Jerry stood there, uninjured and unconcerned. At the sight of Hubert, the horse neighed joyfully. Nothing could exceed Hubert's gladness at finding him. He mounted the horse, wished his friends good night, and cantered off in the direction they pointed out as his nearest way, reaching home safely about four o'clock in the morning. So we see how Hubert not only saved the baronet and his family from the robbers, but also with his wit presence of mind and courage saved himself and his horse Jerry. The foolish robbers were caught by a sneeze. He won the hearts of Baronet's family and returned back home safely. So my dear children, this brings us to the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. So I'll see you soon with a fresh new video on a new topic. Till then, stay safe and be strong.
थैंक यू